Okay, guys, so to, right now we're for this video, I'm going to talk about the joystick controller that I'm using. So this joystick controller uh, is going to control the feed as well as blade height if you want to manually drive it uh, outside of the automated program. This is what it looks like right here. Um, I got this thing. It's got a little rubber boot that fits over it that's inside of the uh, case right now. Um, I got this thing off of a wheelchair uh, drive. I don't remember the name of the company that makes it, but this right here is the actual sensor. You can see that there, that little chip. And then it's got this header um, flat, flat pin cable or whatever you want to call it, um, ribbon cable type thing, plug in there. Um, so we need to figure out what we're going to do with this. I've looked this guy up before. Um, so the chip actually has written on it, and it took quite a while to clean off. There was a lot of uh, gunk built up on it. Uh, the chip actually has written on it 333 BCH. And so this whole thing was actually covered in like a varnish type thing to keep it waterproof. And it made it nearly impossible to see that writing. And it took me a long time, a lot of messing around. I don't remember exactly how I got it to be visible, but it took a long time. So... Um, uh, let's look up, um, see if we can find that chip number on Mauser. Okay, nothing there. Um, let's just do 333. Um... Let's see. So I know that this works based off magnetism. So um, let me see if I let me go back to my camera here. So the way it, it's got that chip there, and then this moves like this. Well, there's a magnet embedded in here, and when I move that joystick, it moves the position of that magnet over top of the chip. And that's how it picks up the position of the joystick. Um, so I think, um, I don't, so magnetic sensors, um, Molexus, that's it. That's the name of the company, Molexus. Uh, let's see if they have anything on it here. I doubt they have this. So the 333SP, RX, RE. Um, and those, none of those look quite right. I don't think that's going to, uh, no, that's a 377. Um, 377. I don't think that's it, but it does have the TT, TSSOP 16. Um, let me, um. Let's look up the Molexus website. Um, let's see. Uh, if I search for 333, let's see what they come up. Nothing. Okay. Um, magnetic position sensor ICs. Um, Ah, there we go. 333. That's, well, it's BCT. I don't know if they have a... a so is BCH. Then it changes. Ah, there it is. Yep. Okay, so... Product data sheet. Oh, there it is. I guess I already had it. Ooh, whoopsies. So we'll open this guy up. So the next thing we need to do now that we have that figured out, we need to figure out how we're going to connect this thing. So um, it says, 
blah, 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 joystick, all great. Um, analog ratio metric PWM or serial protocol. So if it's hooked up over serial, um, it's going to be a bit more complicated. PWM is a little bit easier. Analog would be preferable. Um, so I do happen to know, because I, I did figure this thing out before, but I don't remember exactly what it was. I happen to know that it's analog, but that was like, I don't know, four months ago, and I don't exactly remember the pinout for this thing anymore now. So now we have to figure out the pinout in order to connect to it. Um, it runs on, uh, I believe it's 3.3 volts. Um, so in here somewhere, there's going to be a description of the pins and serial protocol. Very glad that it's not serial because that would have been an absolute nightmare. So analog output wiring. So as you can see here, we have VDD. This would be your voltage in. Um, and then this pin is not used. This pin is not used. And these are all connected to ground. Um, this is ground here. Um, this pin is not used. Uh, so if you notice about this chip, if I if you draw a line right across here, it's a mirror image. So if I draw a line across here, you'll notice if I rotate this over, outs are in the same plot and like the VDD is in the same. So it's a mirror image, which makes it a little bit nicer. Um, so this guy comes up. So they have two separate voltages. I don't know why they do it that way, but whatever. Um, so the outputs are over there. So now let me bring my camera back here. Uh, so pull out a, this is what I did last time. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see. Let me grab a flashlight. So let's see if I can do this without blinding you guys. So the chip here is there. As you can see on this bottom corner down here, that there's where the, the corner is. So based on the um, Based on number one being V digital right there, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so what I can do is I can see, let me see if I can get a pointer here that'll help. Let's see if I can make this work. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. It's probably not gonna focus on that very well. Well, there's a resistor capacitor right there between those pins. So those two are connected. Um, and that means, because I believe that's the VDD, if I'm not mistaken. And I think what happens, yeah. So if you notice on the back side here, you have right, right there that hole through that's your voltage in right there so now that we know what the voltage in is um because i think that connects yeah that goes right underneath that chip right where that those wires go across those traces go across and i think that's going to be your voltage in and then obviously ground is going to be the on like all circuits the way it works is your ground is like the area outside of this all the area that that's just covered in you know one big trace that's going to be your ground so you just follow that back to where it connects and you can see um right here second pin in from the top you can see how hopefully that uh, maybe you can't but that trace that whole big plane trace all goes into there it connects to that top one there and then that that large one with the positive voltage goes up to that top corner so that's going to be our plus and minus um, and then basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to hook up uh, i'm going to set up the android or the android the arduino 
Um, and I'll show you how I do this. So in order to figure out what the, which pins are gonna output, um, I'm actually, they, they have an example in here of uh, analog read serial. And the way this works is it's going to uh, hook up your serial to your computer, okay? And it's gonna read in the sensor value on A0. So what are we gonna do is we're gonna hook this thing up to 3.3 volts, and then we're gonna take a jumper to go from each one of the rest of the pins to A0, and it'll, it's gonna basically um, print a, uh, a graph. We can, we can go in here to tools, and we can go to um, serial plotter, and that'll allow us to read that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up. Okay, so we got it set up here, and I've got one of the wires connected, and we'll see if maybe I get lucky, and the very first one we get is the proper one. So let's go ahead and upload this. Ah. Um, maybe the board's not plugged in. No, it's plugged in. Um, okay, guys, I figured out what was going on. My USB cable was bad or something's jacked with it because I plugged it in with a different cable. And boom, there it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this back up here. Put my board back where it's supposed to be. Okay, and then... Go ahead and upload the sketch. Okay, so now that's uploaded. I'm gonna hook up the 3.3 volt positive to the 3.3 volt port. And then I'm gonna hook up the ground that we figured out which that one is. And I'm gonna hook up one of the wires and hopefully we get lucky on this and the first try works so now i'm going to go to the serial plotter here see if we get hey we're getting whoop we're getting some input okay so there we go that's good let's see what happens i'm going to switch wires to a different one we'll go with uh this one There we go. We're getting input there. So this one works for the up and down direction. Okay. And then this one, plug this one to, into A0, works for side to side. There we go. There we go. Well, that was uh, really easy. So that was simple. So now we have an a, uh, output, and it looks like it's doing... It's, you know, the voltage isn't, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't start quite at three volts, but, or I wonder if that's putting out the voltage directly, um, convert analog reading, which goes from negative zero to 1023 to a voltage zero to five volts. Um, well, I didn't. I wonder if I did, just for fun, I want to try this, because this thing isn't running at 5 volts, it's running at 3.3. .3. So, I'm going to try uploading that, see what that does. Just for fun. Eh, just for fun, I'm going to change that value. Um, oh, if I put this up to like 100, I think that's what's going to get that. It's going to amplify that signal. No device. Oh, don't give me that crap. I wonder... Um, let's try 
reset the board. No device, really. Well, I don't believe that. Let me try closing this out again. I'm going to open it back up. No device on COM3. Really? Well, that is interesting. Let me try doing a hard race on this thing. I'm going to unplug it and then plug it back in. There we go. And we'll try one more time. There we go. Now it's hooking up. So now if I go to tools, serial plotter, but anyways, you see that it's measuring the position of this thing. It's pretty cool. Good stuff. So that's how I figured out how to, uh, to use the joystick. Um, so yeah, it's just a Malexus magnetic position, sen angular position sensor, and you can use it. Like this came out of um, a power wheelchair. It was a real old one. Um, maybe not that old, maybe like five, six years old or something. It wasn't being used. And uh, I actually contacted the company trying to get, I think it was PG Drives. PGDT was on the board. I think PG Drive Technologies is what it was that made the drives for it and the controller and everything. I asked them for the prints and they said no. And I was like, well, okay, I'll figure it out. So I figured it out on my own. So you guys can do that too. You just got to basically figure out what chip is on there and then just kind of trace the wiring, see where it's going, and then just plug it in and check the output. So awesome. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit like. Please subscribe to see more of the... Um, the progress for the sawmill. So this, this joystick is going to power the, the feed and the, the blade height in manual mode where you're driving it by the joystick. Um, so if you want to see more of the project that, uh, if you want to see more of the automated sawmill project, go ahead and subscribe and you'll get to see all the newest videos. Thanks guys.